part of holistic lifestyle today, my dear friends, that is how to make Ambali. Ambali means what? Ambali is the fermented gruel. It's a fermented porridge, okay? Fermented gruel or ganji, you can say. So this is prepared. So especially today, we are, we are going to show you the, you know, a kind of a video demonstration, how to make this Ambali, so in your own house. So what is the use of Ambali? And what, what are the benefits that also we'll discuss today? So friends, this Ambali, it was in a food for, for the human beings for thousands of years in India, especially in our India. So, but what happened is, so in, in, in the recent past, you know, we have forgotten that. The reason is the modern world effect, the modern world, the more and more of uh, modern world effect, we forgot that now. So now, so once again, so with this session today, so you all will be coming to know what are the great benefits of this Ambali. So you, you can restart it. Uh, of course, you can restart it so successfully from today. So friends, this Ambali especially, this can be prepared with your locally available whatever the grain, whatever the grains possible. But <clears throat> preparing this Ambali from, with the help of, you know, Siridhani, that is millets. So there are five types of millets, paniat millet, brown type millet, little millet, parcel millet. So all this, you know, this all these five type of millet, any millet you take, right? So taking that millet uh, with the help of that, you can prepare the, the sambali, you know, successfully you can prepare and then you can eat it. Like uh, once you prepare it, what will happen is, so normal people who doesn't have any ill health also, so they can eat twice in a week, right? twice in a week. Anybody who is suffering from the, any kind of a extreme diseases or the kind of chronic diseases, any disease it can be. So you can have this food itself every day on you know, a continuous basis until you come out of your, your own the illness. So how many times? Seven to eight weeks you will keep it and every day four to five times. Just consume this you know, particular the ambali or gruel. It's very, very tasty. Of course, along with this, you can use uh, sambar, sambar and you know rasam or a dal or a vegetable curry and as well you know your uh, these pickles all these things you can use have some mix with some salt also just for a taste purpose it will be wonderful if you have coriander and you can add uh, green mirchi so it's a wonderful actually in fact okay i'll try to show in the presentation then we'll go to the video presentation also right right so Friends, I think is uh, we need to understand is since uh, since so long since for centuries together what happens is our own inside the in the human body especially our ancestors were eating the same food as a regular food for them so that is why our elementary canal elementary canal especially which has got that habit of taking this food as a main food okay that is why even now if you consume this particular porridge or a fermented porridge ambali you will be able to digest it very faster because the especially the elementary canal is to remember whatever you know from the sages whatever whatever has been coming from our ancestors it will remember that's what you know you need to remember right so friends so like this what will happen is so if you if you try to take this particular porridge what you have to do is here you can see the picture so in this picture if you observe the, the this particular gruel or ambali is prepared with the help of what with the help of the so earthen part earthen part so inside the earthen part if you prepare this one what will happen is so earthen part has got a lot of holes through holes the oxygen will enter inside oxygen will enter inside so because of the more oxygenation what happened is so this uh, inside this uh, the, uh, the you know uh, so called ambali so the more amount of bacteria will grow right positive bacteria the ambali the purpose of ambali itself is having so trying to get more and more amount of positive bacteria within that food so because of the fermentation so it it gets developing so a lot of positive bacteria within that this positive bacteria what it does is once you consume it it goes into your uh, stomach and then it uh, you know it increases the positive bacteria because of the increase in the positive bacteria what will happen your own immunity power will be raised your own immunity power will be raised and also so consuming this particular kind of a you know uh, the uh, this kind of a mill, millet uh, ambali so it's going to improve your immunity and as well you can fight against any disease for that matter once you have a highest immunity you can find against any kind of a disease so basically it is going to provide the highest amount of probiotics within you so that's very important friends so you can remember this now 
So how to prepare this? How to prepare this one? One of the important thing we'll see as a you know text, plain text we'll see here. And again, we'll see the one small video wherein I will try to explain you so very clearly how to prepare this. Preparing this, uh, you know, millets is, uh, uh, millets with the millets, uh, you can prepare this ambali. That's very good. So what will happen is friends, this uh, for preparation of this ambali, and also before that, one more benefit is, so this ambali will provide highest amount of B12 vitamin. That also you remember, right? And of course, as I, as I already told, highest amount of positive bacteria, which is active, which is going to boost the immunity. That with that, you can you can cure any disease. That's also possible. And B12 is also highly predominantly available with, within the within the ambali. And what are the ingredients required for making ambali? So that is number one: one cup of millet rice and 10 cups of water. Okay, how to mix it and how to make it. Everything I will try to explain with the help of the, uh, so with the help of the video. So once you prepare this, right, once you prepare this, then you have to close with the so-called khadi cloth, the cotton cloth, especially khadi cloth you can use. So then keep it for six, seven hours or throughout the night you keep it. Next day morning, it is the ambali is ready. Okay, and once it is prepared, the ambali can should not be heated. Uh, you know, whenever you want to eat, should not be again reheated. You should not do that. If you want to reheat also, make it some. You know, the hot hot serving you want to do. What you need to do? Double double boiling method you have to use. That means heat the water in a vessel, then keep the ambali in that. Okay, keep the ambali in that. Then it will get some hot hotness. Then you can serve. The freshly you can serve. So likewise you can do. So, and also while preparing this uh, ambali, you should not add the, the buttermilk. Buttermilk can be added after the preparation of the ambali. You can add the buttermilk also like a sambar or some, or you can eat it. So before, uh, while the preparation of ambali, if you use buttermilk, you'll only get la lactulous bacteria. Lactulous bacteria only will come. Other bacteria will not have a chance to grow. That is why we should not add buttermilk on the, at the time of preparation of this particular the ambali so this is also very important friends okay so likewise it's very very important and it's a very it's a highest amount of resistance basically what it does is it's going to improve the bodily resistance uh, so much that's why our all ancestors were the highly resistant to the, any kind of diseases that is why they were they were able to survive for a quite long time without any disease of course now also people are living 78 years how they are living every day on tablet Either BP or sugar tablet or some other tablet. That's not the way of that's, that's not the way of life. The way of life is you should not have any disease till 70, 80 years. You should not use any kind of tablet. Nothing required. You have to have a, your own natural health. Should be able to protect from all the diseases. That's where this kind of ambali, if you start practicing from now, at least from today, so make make yourself a change in your life. Okay. You are going to have the better immunity against any kind of diseases. You also can live longer without any disease. That's more important, you know, living happily without any disease. So that's the real health. That's a real holistic health, my dear friends. Now, so let's see the uh, one of the, uh, you know, so small video I will try to play. So how to make this assembly properly. So you can look at it, right? Welcome to Millet Magic. All over the world, from time immemorial, porridge has been an essential part of our diet. But of late, we have been neglecting the spot of wonder since we do not know how important it is. To understand this, please watch the video on microbial imbalance where we go in depth on. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Sarada. Welcome to Millet Magic. All over the world, from time immemorial, porridge has been an essential part of our diet. But of it, we have been neglecting the spot of wonder since we do not know how important it is. To understand this, please watch the video on microbial imbalance where we go in depth on this topic. You can find the link to this video in the description box below or by clicking on the i on your screen. Unfortunately, we have forgotten how such a simple dish is to be made. So today, I will be showing you how to prepare 
fermented porridge, also called as ambali in South India or kameez in Hindi. Porridge can be made from any of the five positive millets. It can be made from millet rice, millet rava or millet flour. I personally prefer the porridge made from millet rava. The process is the same for all of them. The first step is to dry roast the millet rava. Here I am using two cups of little millet rava. And I'm going to roast it until it emits a light aroma. Roasting enhances the flavor of the porridge, but it is an optional step. Soaking millet for a good 3 to 8 hours before cooking is a must. So I'm soaking the rava with 6 cups of water. Now to an earthen pot, I'm going to add 6 more cups of water, which makes it a total of 12 cups of water for 2 cups of millet. The ratio being 1 is to 6. You can add up to 1 is to 10 cups of water if you like your amri to be more water. I'm going to allow the water to come to a boil. Once the water is boiling well, I'm going to add in all the water which I had used to soak and the millet rava into the earthen pot. I'm going to give it a nice stir. Turn down the flame to scent, cover it with the lid and allow it to cook well. I'm going to give it an occasional stir from the bottom so that it doesn't burn. After 15 to 20 minutes, the millet is cooked well and the kanji is ready. But wait, it's not ready to be consumed yet. What we want to make is ambali. Ambali is nothing but a fermented ganji or porridge. We are fermenting it so that we get a good dose of probiotic bacteria. The probiotic bacteria need a well aerated condition to grow. So if you have by chance cooked the ganji in a steel vessel, it is a must to transfer it into an earthen pot. Now, earthen pots have micropores in them and that is the reason aeration happens well and fermentation takes place in an ideal environment. For the same reason, I am going to cover the earthen pot by tying a cotton cloth over it. Now, this needs to rest for 4 to 12 hours depending on the temperature outside. If it's summer, if it's hot, 4 hours will be more than enough. If it's cold, you will need to keep it in a warm spot for up to 12 hours as the bacteria need more time to develop. So basically, the duration for which you need to allow the porridge to ferment is the same duration which is required for milk to curdle in your place during that season. So now, you can see that the ambali is ready. It would have become a little thicker than what you left it. Your dose of probiotics, your source of vitamin B12, your immunity booster is ready. Few things to keep in mind when you're consuming the ambali are Do not heat the porridge after fermentation as it will kill the probiotic bacteria and the entire purpose will be defeated. You can make it warm by double boiling method or by adding lukewarm milk. Do not add buttermilk, curd or milk before fermentation as lactobacilli alone will dominate and not allow any other good bacteria to grow. Ideally, we want a diversified microbial population in our gut. However, buttermilk or curd can be added just before consumption. Do not add salt while cooking or allowing it for fermentation as salinity affects the microbial growth. Again, you may add salt just before consumption. If you have any serious chronic health condition, consuming fermented porridge, ambali or khamir for all three meals for about six to nine weeks will help you recover soon. For everyone else, 
Consuming the thrice or thrice a week will boost your immunity and help you get a good dose of vitamin B12 and establish the essential microbial balance in your gut. You may eat fermented porridge along with vegetables, dal, sambar, rasam, pickles, or even palm jaggery, whichever suits your taste buds. So to ensure that you include various millet fermented porridges into your diet. Hey, and it's tasty too. Yes, friends. So this is all, all about uh, the Ambali preparation, which you have seen today. So please start doing it at your home. And from today, you can start preparing this Ambali and try to make it as a part of your diet. Okay. So thank you. So holistic lifestyle, what are the, how to prepare the Ambali? What are the benefits? You have seen it.